How's it going, guys? Welcome back. And on today's Tech, Tech Tuesday, Tuesday, we will be installing a BEC. How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another RC in Motion video. As you already saw in the intro, we will be installing a BEC. Now, if you're wondering what a BEC is, it pretty much stands for battery eliminate eliminator circuit my bad so what does this do it eliminates obviously the circuit without the need of, of multiple batteries so pretty much it was or it is intended for airplanes so when your your uh, your engine dies out in the air this eliminator circuit will provide enough current for those servos so you can land safely in the crawler world in the crawler community we use it to power our high speed servos so that way it can eliminate that circuit that goes to the motor and give a little more pump to that servo so let's check it out so the first thing we want to do is use safety obviously what i use is 6040 clear flux and it has flux already in here but i like to add extra flux for uh, rigidity and and better connections so let me show you how that's done so what I like doing is taking my wire and I cr I clip it on the helping hand hands and I use this um, flux it's uh, called resin soldering flux and what I do is I just dip the wire in that flux make sure my soldering iron is pretty hot so I usually uh, maintain it between 780 to 800 degrees so I'll put the uh, heating iron underneath and I'll start soldering my wire pre tinning is what it's called and then what you're left is with a clean and nice pre tin check it out there you go nice and clean let's do the same thing with the other side and install this let's bring in the truck we already did so what you want to do is this BEC has two um, leads, positive obviously, which is red, negative is black. So you take your electronic speed controller, as we explained in the last Tech Tuesday, or your ESC, and what you want to do is you want to make two little cuts anywhere on within the wire here. Let me see if I can bring you guys closer over here. There we go. And once you split those wires, we're gonna solder them onto that and then try to heat shrink. So let's do that. So now that I have it desoldered here, I went ahead and pretend it. I find a, a, a proper sized uh, heat shrink. This way it'll prevent any short circuits. Let's add some pre tin here to the soldering iron. There you have it. A nice clean solid bond let me see if I can zoom in here and there you have it so now let's go ahead and connect this to the negative lead right here on the uh, battery connector now that we have it all soldered up we can raise the heat shrink turn on the lighter and heat that up So let's go ahead and do that one and we should be good. there you have it you have successfully installed your BEC in your crawler or RC or airplane there's one more step we have to take before actually plugging this in and that is to take our a lead from our electronic speed controller and remove this red wire 
and all we have to do is take this wire and just tape it to the back just keep it out the way so the reason behind the wire being removed is because if we have two different voltages on two different plugs trying to interact which one's the boss it's not gonna work the internal BEC from the ESC is gonna fight with the external BEC it's like having three captains in one ship it isn't gonna work so we have to make sure we unplug that middle wire from or the positive this is the positive from your ESC and then we should be able to install it back in the throttle now once we have that plugged in it's not going to turn on because now your power source it is the BC pretty much so we plug this into any external or auxiliary um, channels that are left pretty much on your receiver and where we learn about the receiver uh, in the previous week so in my case I have an SR300 from Spectrum which is a three channel receiver I can choose to put it in the auxiliary but I might use that for a winch so I'll just put it in the bind and make sure your polarities are correct now you have power it's all a matter of rerouting all this cable and wire and you should be good so hope you guys learned something a little today about BEC and how to connect it and soldering itself now a little tech, tech tip, tip is to make sure when you set your heat you don't overheat the wires too much because when you put that heat shrink this will happen the heat shrink will conform to the wire because the wire is hot so make sure your solderings are quick and precise that way you have enough time to put on that heat shrink if you want to learn more about these tech tips stay tuned for more and as always thank you guys for liking and sharing my videos till the next time